Admiral Warfisher first presented his requirements for the new ships of the Director of Naval Construction, or the DNC, on the 18th of December, 1914, before the ships had even been approved. He wanted a long flare bow like that of the pre dreadnought renown, but higher for but higher for fifteen inch guns and two twin gun turrets and an anti torpedo boat armament of twenty four inch one hundred and two millimeter guns mounted high up and protected by gun shields only a a speed of 32 knots using oil fuel and armor on the scale of the battle cruiser and defiable. Within a few days, Fisher increased the number of guns to six and added two torpedo tubes. Minor revisions in the initial estimate were made until the 26th of December, and a primarily design was completed and a primary a, a preliminary design was completed on the 30th of December. During the following weeks, the DNC's department examined the material delivered for the two battleships and decided that what could be used in the design. The usable material was transferred to the builders who had received enough information from the DNC's department to lay down the keels of both ships on the 25th of January, 1915, well before the altered contracts were completed on the 10th of March. Repulse had an overall length of 794 feet two and 2.5 inches or 242.1 meters, a beam of 89 feet 11.5 inches or 27.4 meters and a maximum draught of 29 feet 9 inches, or 9.1 meters. She displays 26,854 long tons at normal load, and 31,592 long tons at deep load. The Brown Curtis Drive Direct Drive Steam Turbines were directed were designed to produce oh, 1,012 or 112,000 shaft horsepower, which could propel the ship at 32 knots. During trials in 1916, Repulse's turbines provided 1,800 or 100, 118,913 ship horsepower, allowing her to reach a speed of 31. Point seven three knots. The ship normally carried 1,000 long tons of fuel oil, but had a max, max capacity of 4,289 long tons. At full capacity, she could steam at a speed of 18 knots for 4,000 nautical miles. The ship mounted six 42 caliber BNL 15 inch Mark I guns and three triple hydraulic powered gun turrets A, B, and Y from front to rear. Her secondary armament consisted of 17 B and L 4 inch Mark eight or Mark IX guns fitted in five triple and two single mounts. Repulse mounted a pair of QNF 3 inch 20 CWT anti aircraft guns or AA guns mounted on the shelter deck abreast the rear funnel. She mounted two submerged tubes for 21 inch 533 millimeter torpedoes, one on each side of, of a barbette. Repulse's waterline belt of Krupp cemented armor measured 6 inches or 152 millimeters thick amidships. Her guns, her gun turrets were 7 to 9 inches or 178 to 229 millimeters thick with roofs of 4.25 inches or 108 millimeters in thickness.
As designed, the high tensile steel decks range from 0.75 to 1.5 inches or 19 to 38 millimeters in thickness. After the Battle of Jutland in 1916, while the ship was still being completed, an extra inch of high tensile steel was added on the main deck over the magazines. Repulse was fitted with a shallow anti-torpedo bulge inter, um, integral to the hull, which was intended to explode the torpedo before it hit the uh, um, hull proper and vent the underwater explosion to the surface rather than into the warship. Despite these um, additions, the ship was still felt to be too vulnerable to plunging fire, and repulse was fitted in um, raw sheath between the 10th of November 1916 to the 20th, to, to the 29th of January 1917. With additional horizontal armor, weighing approximately 504 long tons, adding to the decks over the magazine and over the steering gears. Repulse was the first capital ship fitted with a flying off platform with an experimental one when an experimental one was fitted on B turret in the autumn of 1917. Squadron leader Frederick Rutland took off in a soap Soap with Rupp on the 1st of October. Another platform was built on Y turret, and Rutland took off from it on the 8th of October. One fighter and a reconnaissance, and a reconnaissance aircraft were normally carried. Repulse was laid down by John Brown Saddlebank, Scotland, on the 25th of January, 1915. The ship was launched on the 8th of January 1916 and completed on the 18th of August 1916. After the Battle of Jutland, her construction cost €2,829,087. She served with the Grand Fleet in the North Sea during the remaining two years of the First World War. Repulse relieved Lion as the flagship of the 1st Battlecruiser Squadron for the duration of the war. Over the course of 1917, the Admiralty became more concerned about German efforts in the North Sea to sweep paths through the British-made minefields intended to restrict the actions of the High Seas Fleet and German submarines. A premier, a prim, a preliminary raid on German mine sweeping forces on the 31st of October by light forces destroyed 10 small ships and the Admiralty decided on a larger operation to destroy the mine sweepers and their escorting light cruisers. Based on intelligence reports, two Admiralty decided on the 17th of November 1917 to to allocate two light cruiser squadrons. The first cruiser squadron, covered by the reinforced first battle squad battle cruiser squadron, less um less renowned, and more um dec and more distantly the battleships of the first battle of the first battle squadron to the operation. German ships, four light cruisers of the 2nd Scouting Force, eight destroyers, three divisions of minesweepers, eight um, spear beachers, cork filled trawlers used to detonate mines without sinking, and two trawlers to mark the swift route were spotted at 7 uh, 30 a.m. Silhouetted by the rising sun, the light cruiser. Or the light battle cruiser, um, courageous, and the light cruiser, um, Cardiff, open fired with their forward guns seven minutes later. The Germans responded by laying an effective smoke screen. The British continued in pursuit, but lost track of the of most of the smaller ships in the smoke, and concentrated fire on the light cruisers as opportunity permitted. 
Repulse was detached not long after and raced it forward at full speed to engage the enemy ships. She opened fire at a, at about nine, nine, uh, 900 hours, scoring a single hit on the light cruiser SMS Konigsberg during the battle. When the German battleship SMS Kaiser and the SMS Karasen, or Kaiserin were spotted about t- um, 950, the British broke off their pursuit and repulsed it covered their retreat, aided by a heavy fog that came down around 1040. The ship fired a total of 54 15 inch shells during the battle and scored one light and scored one hit on the light cruiser Konigsberg that temporarily reduced the speed. On the 12th of December 1917, Repulse was damaged in a collision with the battle cruiser HMA, HMAS Australia. The ship was presented at the surrender of the high seas fleet at Scapa Flow on the 21st of November 1918. Repulse began a major refit in Portsmouth on the 17th of December 1918, intended to drastically improve her armor capability or armor protection. Her existing 6 inch armor belt was replaced by 9 inch 229 millimeter armor plates made um, surplus by the conversion of the battleship um, Ardment um, Cartron, originally ordered by Chile, and the purchase after the war began, to the aircraft carrier Eagle. The original armor was fitted between the main and upper decks. Above the new armor, additional high tensile plating was added to the decks over the magazines. The ship's anti-torpedo bulge was deepened and reworked along the lines of the of that installed on the battleship Ramillies. The bulge covered her hull from the submerged torpedo room to Y magazine, the inner compartments of which were filled with crushed torpedo or with crushing tubes. The bulges added twelve feet eight inches or three point nine meters to her beam and one foot four inches or or point four meters to her drop. The refit added about to forty five hundred long tons to her displacement and raised her and raised her um um mechan metromatic or metromatic height to six point four feet or two meters at deep load. Three thirty for three thirty foot nine or nine point one meter rangefinders were also added, as well as eight torpedo tubes in twin mounts to the upper decks. Both flying off platforms were removed. This refit cost eight um eight thousand or eight hundred and sixty thousand six hundred and eighty four euros. Repulse was recommissioned on the 1st of January 1921 and joined the battle cruiser squadron of the Atlantic Fleet in November of 1923. The HMS Hood, accompanied by Repulse and a number of um, Diné class cruisers of the 1st Light Cruiser Squadron, set out on a world cruise from west to east via the Panama Canal. They returned home 10 months later in September of 1924. Shortly after the return, the, the ship's two 3-inch AA guns and her two single 4-inch guns gun mounts were removed and replaced with four Q&F 4-inch Mark V AA guns. The battle cruiser squadron visited Lisbon in February of 1925 to participate in the Vasco da um, gamma celebrations before continuing on to the Mediterranean for exercises. A squash court was added to the standard starboard side between the funnels and a sauna and bubble bath on the quarter deck for the Prince of Wales tour of Africa and South America. That lasted from March to October. Upon her return, she was refitted from the November of 1925 to the July of 1926. 
and had a high angle control position or HASP added to her or HACP added to her foretop. After Repulse completed her 1926 refit, she remained in commission, aside from a brief refit from July to September of 1927, with the Battle Cruiser Squadron of the Atlantic Fleet until and she was late until she was paid off in June of 1932 prior to her prior to beginning her reconstruction in April of 1933 most of the existing layers of high tensile steel what that can that can can constituted or constituted the ship's horizontal armor was replaced by non cemented armor plates of 2.5 to 3.5 inches in thickness, and the torpedo control room tower or torpedo control tower was removed from the aft superstructure. A fixed catapult replaced the amidships four-inch triple mount, and a hangar was built on each side of the rear funnel to house two of the ships at fairly three aircraft. Uh, one additional aircraft could be carried on the deck and another on the catapult itself. Um, electric cranes were mounted above each hangar to handle the aircraft. The four, four inch AA guns were moved one pair abreast the rear funnel on the, at the level of the hangar roof and the other pair abreast the fore funnel on the forecastle. Four prototype at QNF four inch Mark 15 dual purpose guns were added in in twin guns. Mark uh, Mark um, eight or Mark 18 mounts abreast the main mast. Two quadruple Mark six, six two pounder mounts were fitted on ex, um, extensions of the conning tower platform abreast the fore funnel. Above these pair of quadruple mark twos mounted mountings for the point oh point five inch Vickers Mark III machine gun were added. These mounts could depress to minus ten degrees and elevate to a maximum of seventy degrees. The machine guns fired a one point three two six ounce bullet at a muzzle velocity of 2,520 feet per second. This gave the gun a maximum range of about 5,000 yards, although its effective range was only 800 yards. Repulse re, um, received two high-angle control systems and system anti-aircraft directors one Mark II on the foretop and a Mark I mounted on the pedestal above the rear superstructure. The two submerged torpedo tubes were removed, and the vacant space, spaces subdivided and turned into storerooms. Repulse was assigned to the Mediterranean fleet when she was commissioned, recommissioned in April of 1936. She was tra or she transported 500 refugees from Vallega and Palma, um, Mal Malkajoy to Marseilles, France, in late 1936. After the start of the Spanish Civil War, the ship was present at the at the Coronation Fleet Review at Spithead on the 20th of May, 1937, for King George the Sixth. Repulse was sent to Halfa in July of 1938 to maintain order during the um, Arab revol Revolt. She was selected to convoy the King and Queen during their May 1939 Canadian tour, and she was refitted between October of 1938 and March of 1939. For this role, the Twin 4-inch AA guns were replaced by two more Mark V guns and two additional quadruple 
50 caliber mounts were added. The king and queen ultimately traveled aboard the liner HMS or RMS Empress of Australia, while Repulse escorted them on the first half of the journey. At the, at the beginning of the Second World War, Repulse was part of the battlecruiser squadron of the home fleet. She patrolled off the Norwegian coast and in the North Sea in search of German ships as a result, as well as to enforce the blockade for the first couple months of the war. Early in the war, the aft triple four-inch gun mounts were replaced with an eight-barrel two-pounder mount. In late October, she was transferred to Halifax with the aircraft carrier Furious to protect convoys and search for German raiders. Repulse and Furious sorted or sorted from Halifax on the 23rd of November in search of the German battleship Scharnhorst after it sunk the armed merchant cruiser um, Raul, um, Raul de, or Raul Pita, or Petey. But Repulse was damaged by heavy seas in a storm and was forced to return to the port. Repulse escorted the convoy, bringing most of the 1st Canadian Infantry Division to Britain from the 10th to the 23rd of December 1939, and was reassigned to the home fleet in October uh, in October of 1940. She was accompanied she accompanied the aircraft carrier Ark Royal on a fruitless search for six German blockade runners that had broke out of uh, Vigo, Spain. Repulse was assigned to support Allied operations during the Norwegian campaign in April of in April through June of 1940. On the 7th of April, Repulse, along with the bulk of the home fleet, was ordered to sea to intercept that what was thought to be another attempt to break out into the North Atlantic. The ship was um, detached from the, fall the following day to search for a German ship re um, reported by the destroyer Glowworm, but the shore had been sunk by the German cruiser, the Admiral Hipper, before Repulse arrived and she was ordered to rendezvous with her sister ship, the HMS Renown, south of the Lofton Islands. Off the Norwegian coast, on the 12th of April, Repulse was ordered to return to Scapa Flow to refuel, and she was escorted to, and she escorted a troop convoy upon her return. In early June, the ship was sent to the North Atlantic to search for German raiders and played no part in the evacuation of Norway. And accompanied by Renown and the 1st Cruiser Squadron, Repulse attempted to intercept the German battleship Gneisenau as it sailed for um, um, Trotum, or Tronehelm to Germany in July. Until May of 1941, the ship escorted convoys and unsuccessfully searched for German ships. On the 22nd of May, Repulse was diverted from escorting convoy WS-8B to assist in the search for the battle for the German battleship Bismarck, but she had to break off the search early on the 25th of May as she was running low on fuel. The ship was refitted from June to August and received eight Orokin 20mm .79 inch auto cannons, as well as a Type um, 284 surface gunnery radar. Repulse escorted a troop convoy around the Cape of, Cape of Good Hope from August to October, and was transferred to the East Indies Command. In late 1941, Winston Churchill decided to send a small group of fast capital ships along with one modern aircraft carrier to Singapore to deter or expected Japanese aggression. In November, Repulse, which was in the Indian Ocean, was ordered to Combio or yeah, Combio Ceylon to rendezvous with the new battleship HMS Prince of Wales. 
the carrier and Indom- the carrier HMS Indomitable, which was assigned to join them, was delayed when she ran aground in the Caribbean. The battleship Prince of Wales and the battle cruiser Repulse and their escorting destroyers comprom- um, comprised Force A- Force Z, which arrived in Singapore on the second of December, nineteen forty one. On the evening of the eighth of December, Force Z set out on an attempt to destroy Japanese troop con- convoys and protect the army's seaward flanks from Japanese landings. In their rear, Force Z was spotted during the afternoon of the 9th of December by the Japanese submarine I-65 and float planes from several Japanese cruisers spotted the British ships later that afternoon and shadowed them until dark. Admiral Sir Tom um, Phillips decided to cancel the operation as the Japanese were now awarded. Force Z turned back to, during the evening after having tried to deceive the Japanese that they were heading to Singapore at um, 050 on the 10th of December Admiral Phillips received a signal of enemy landings uh, to um, Kutenan and correspondingly ordered altered course so that he would arrive shortly after dawn the crew of I-58 spotted Force Z on it. 0220 and reported their position and fired five torpedoes, all of which missed. Based on this report, the Japanese launched 11 reconnaissance aircraft before dawn to locate Fort Z. Several hours later, 86 bombers from the 22nd Air Fortilla based in Saigon were launching were launched carrying bombs or torpedoes. The crew of the of the of the Mitsubishi G3M reconnaissance bomber spotted the British at 10:15 and radioed in several reports. The pilot was ordered to maintain contact and to broadcast a directional signal that the other Japanese bombers could follow. The attack began at 11:13 when. 250 kilogram or 551 pound bombs were dropped from eight um, G3Ms from an altitude of 11,500 feet. The battle cruiser was straddled by two bombs, then hit by a third, which penetrated through the hangar to explode in the armored deck below. This inflicted a number of casualties and damaged the ship's submarine walrus seaplane, which was then pushed over the side to remove a fire hazard. Anti-aircraft fire damaged five of the Japanese bombers, two so badly that they immediately turned to the Saigon. In the assuming attacks, Repulse was skillfully handled by her captain, Bill Tenton, who managed to avoid 19 torpedoes as well as the remaining bombs from the G-30Ms. However, Repulse was then caught by a um, synchronized piercer attack by 17 Mitsubishi G-4M torpedo bombers and hit by four or five torpedoes in rapid succession. The gunners of the battlecruiser Repulse shot down two planes and the heavily damaged eight, and heavily damaged eight more. But the torpedo damage report um, prov- proved fatal. At twelve thirty, at twelve twenty-three, Repulse listed severely to port and quickly capsized and went down by the stern with the loss of five hundred and eight officers and men. The shores, um, um, Electra and the um, HMS Vampire rescued the survivors, including Captain um, Tennant. But sadly, the her the other mighty um, warship tagging along with her, the battleship HMS Prince of Wales, would end up meeting the same fate. The wreck site was designated as a protected place in 2002 under the Protection of Military Remains Act in 1986. Sixty years after sinking, 
The sur sur survivors described five torpedo hits on the bo on the battlecruiser Repulse, four on the port side, and one on the starboard side. The four port side hits, um, portion um, portionally were two amidships, one abreast of the rear turret, and one near the propellers. The starboard side hit was amidships, and at ten a 2007 diving expedition could confirm only two of the hits by examination of the wrecks. The port side hit near the propellers and the starboard hit amidship. Unfortunately, at the time of the expedition, the port side amidship section of the wreck was buried in the ocean for thus the claimed Hits there could not be confirmed. However, the area abreast of the port rear turret was accessible and no sign whatsoever of torpedo hit, as described by survivors, was found to be was found to be there. In October of 2014, the Daily Telegraph reported that both the Prince of the battleship HMS Prince of Wales and the battlecruiser HMS Repulse were being extensively damaged with explosives by scrap metal dealers. In May of 2023, it was reported that Chi that the Chinese ship Chuan Hung, or Chan Hung 68, illegally salvaged the wreck of its low um, background steel. And this concludes today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please go hit that other subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you guys do not miss out on any future content. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or um, requests, feel free to leave those down in the comment section. Um, please share this with a friend um, or family member who might be interested in this type of content. Um, make sure you guys go um, tune in to other um, content like this, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace out.